Tonight, police say the woman who forcibly beat up an elderly woman before she stole the car and her dog is now behind bars. But she's refusing to say what she did with the woman's dog. News specials Mike Anderson talked with a victim and her family who are still hoping that someone can help bring their beloved dog Rio home. We all hope for that. Yeah, for sure, Ashley and Dini. You know, Rio the Shih Tzu could really be anywhere from, you know, here in Davis County where the car was stolen to uh, Salt Lake where the car was found, even up to Ogden where the suspect was arrested. The family says it was tips from the community that helped make that arrest and they're hoping that something similar could help bring Rio home. We depend on them to always be there, often waiting for us to come home. It's a little scary. And um, it's a lot scary, actually, for me. But tonight... I miss him terribly. ...will be the fifth in a row. And I'm sure he misses us. That De Thorell is without Rio, the Shih Tzu. And we've hit all the shelters. We've, we've put up flyers. We're, you know, we're doing what we can do. And I think this is the best way uh, to inform people that, that we're looking for him. Police say 31-year-old Melissa Rush attacked Thorell on Sunday, stealing her car with Rio inside. Rush was arrested early this morning. And I'm getting messages sent in as I'm talking to the police. Andrea Wilden, Thorell's daughter, says amazingly that arrest happened thanks to tips that came into her through social media and a woman who spotted and started following Rush in Ogden even recording a few videos. And they're giving me exact addresses of where she's moving. Eventually leading police and SWAT to an apartment where Rush was arrested. But that arrest isn't providing a whole lot of relief tonight, not without Rio. There was no trace of him in the, in the apartment at all. They, they searched the apartment. And there was no even sign that a dog had even been there. Which is why they're hoping another ongoing stream of tips on Rio eventually leads to him. It's mind-blowing, and I think it's really just kind of hit the public in a different way. Because Sorrell, her daughter, and family aren't the only ones who want Rio to come home. We just want our dog back. And Wilden also says their family is working with the community to place uh, flyers and signs, uh, you know, to help find Rio. They say he's typically friendly or in response to his name. Of course, if you uh, think you have information on where he is, you can contact the Clearfield Police Department. Back to you. Well, it was the community who found the suspect, so hopefully they can do the same in finding Rio. Mike, thanks for that live report.